back to Liverpool, guys, for a normal vlog. Hope you're all doing well out there. Um, till what day are we on today? Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. That was all the last vlog, guys, where I arrived here for the Liverpool Inter Milan game, which is tonight. Um, go and check out the previous videos on the channel. Um, and also Red Men Football Adventures. Um, we'll be there tonight for the Liverpool Inter Milan Champions League game. Don't forget to check out Red Men Football Adventures. If you saw this vlog after the Liverpool game, Red Men Football Adventures, the link for the channel is in the description. Go and check out the match day vlog tonight where I head down the field for the Champions League game at Anfield. Anyway, good morning. <laughs> I'm right here for the last 20 minutes, so it's really, really warm in here this morning. Um, I'm just about to head out here today. I'm actually heading over the Mersey to Birkenhead. I've got a full day to myself before the game tonight, so I thought, you know something? I'm going to take myself out to Birkenhead today, have a walk around the town, go for a bit of lunch, have a coffee, and enjoy Birkenhead. Um, I've been to Birkenhead since well before COVID hit. Well, well, well before, about three years ago. I was planning to go into Chester today, but I think I'm going to leave that for another time because I was looking at some of the reviews and stuff for Chester and I was thinking maybe jump on the train early this morning, but I just had to have a, a bit of a good sleep last night, guys. I was sleeping really early last night and I slept right through to 8 o'clock this morning. I had a really good sleep last night, really good sleep. I felt so much better for it. Anyway, I'm going to head in the road here now to get the train, which is at the top of the street here, and uh, head over to the uh, Mersey to Birkenhead. So... Let's get this juicy vlog started. Let's see what we can get up to today in Birkenhead. Three flights of stars to get down. Unreal. It's handy though, the train station just literally beside Burbs Down. It must seem better. But yeah. Three flights of stars to get down to the train. Crazy. because it literally walked down the bottom of the step and the train pulled up. That's the great thing about these trains here in Liverpool. They're just on time. They're like every few minutes, which is great. But uh, yes, guys, my own way to Burton Head. So I'll be getting off near the shopping centre. Um, and they're going to go for a walk around the town. And then uh, we've got a little lunch later on today, coffee and stuff. So I don't know why you can hear me not, but it's really loud out there because we're underground. All right, next stop, Burton Head. Now guys, I've just arrived here in Conway Street, or Conway Street, whatever it's called. Nice time to head up the stairs here. Cats a left here to get up onto the street. Oh, happy days, look at that. Straight away. Door's uh -huh. closing. Fantastic. Never been to this station before. Strange one. Right, let's head up into the town of Birkenhead. What a beautiful day it is here in Birkenhead. So now I head down here to the shops. What a beautiful day. Just arrived here at the Birkenhead Market. I'm going to have we down there around here now and see if I can see anything. Um, any offers or anything on today? Because the last time I was in here was with Dad a couple of years ago. I'm going to head around here now and see if I can see anything uh, I can take back home with me. I stopped off here, guys, at this wee jewelry store and have all these war stuff in the window, which is quite cool that I got. Like, look at those metals and all the different types of metals and as you go along here. They're not there, not really impressive. It's actually quite cool. I like those ones there. Very nice. Kind of disappointing, guys, walking through here because there's quite a lot of wee stalls that have actually closed down due to COVID. I was just speaking to somebody there, um, and they were telling me that apparently a lot of these places have actually closed because their businesses didn't get support enough from the government, which is quite disappointing because this place used to be thriving the last time I was in here with that. I mean, look at these units all that empty, which were open the last time we were here. I was a bit disappointed that this wee shop's away. The old gaming shop that this used to have gone into all the time, now it's closed down. It's a pity. This where you guys have been a lot of these stores actually closed down. So there is because of COVID and stuff happening on two years ago. Still a few open like but uh, inside the uh I've seen more of the food stalls up inside the um market which is quite good to see. But no. So so sad to see so many units right here down. Let me talk about a flashback wimpy. My god, I haven't seen a Wimpy's in a long, long time. Brilliant. Just as I said there a few minutes ago, guys, the shop was closed as I moved around the corner. Real, let's get inside. 
have a look around. There's an eye in here in the shopping centre. Um, that shop I just found in there was amazing. I'll show you some clips of what I got inside shortly. Um, some really cool stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm here now in Pyramid Shopping Centre here in Birkenhead. And for we nosy around, that shop, wow. Some of the old stuff I have in there for old gaming and whatnot, it's just all out of this world. But yes, I'm here in Pyramids. Ready to go and have a wee nosy around here. I want to go for a coffee shortly, guys. So yes, it's been a good wee trip to Birkenhead so far. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a great big shopping centre here, Pyramids. It's in here a few years ago with Dad and also Brick and Lewis a few years ago even they were smaller but such a big place with plenty of great shops to choose from so there is so time to go and find, find somewhere to get a coffee now because I'm in need of one oh, I've had a great time there in Birkenhead I took my hat on there guys it's getting a bit nippy nice so it is but cold but uh, I'm heading back to the train station now to head back to the uh, apartment I'm going to end this vlog when I get back to the apartment but guys got some more footage for you into that gaming shop it's a love but uh, yeah Birkenhead was quite good today so, well, so Still a beautiful day, but still a, bit, a little bit chilly now, so, but heading back to the apartment here now to get some lunch, didn't I actually get any lunch in the town? I just said not to get any lunch now, I just decided to yeah, head back, because I've been everywhere in the town, so I'm going to head back here now and get some lunch, so uh, I'll see you back there, guys. Back at the apartment, guys, and I've had a really good day in Birkenhead. Didn't do much vlogging, to be honest, with you over there, I don't look a gooby bit like, but I was just enjoying the, uh, what do you call it, the town itself. Just sort of knocking about. Now I did say that I was going to show you some footage of that gaming store. I was going to show you right now. Wow. At the store the last time I was in it, guys, was a lot smaller. It uh, had some good stuff stuff in it before, but not as good as now. Um, the store is a lot bigger. And I was talking to the guys who work behind the counter and they were telling me that uh, they moved in there last November. Some of the stuff that you saw in there was just amazing. So it was all the old retro games, consoles um, and more. It was just an amazing uh, shop to be in and uh, for you gamer. I know a lot of gamer viewers out there. So if you're ever in Birkenhead, check out their wee store. It's uh, an amazing wee store. So it is. And some of the stuff they have in it, it just brings back so many memories of me being a young boy back in the day. I mean, some of the old uh, consoles was just insane. Uh, back home in Northern Ireland, I do have all my old consoles still. Right back to the Atari, the PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, Xbox. Uh, Xbox uh, 360, Xbox One, um, Nintendo's, you name it, GameCubes, 64s, everything. I will not part with those consoles. It's uh, just things that I like to keep. So I do, and I like to pull it every so often and then have a wee game with, Lewis or something like that. But uh, yeah, what a store. What a store. And then when I come back from Birkenhead, I come into the city again, and I went down to a uh, local photography shop to try and get some help with... Uh, a lens for Lewis. Lewis was get kindly given a lens by uh, Scott Brannigan, who is one of the main sponsors for uh, Harder with Welders. He gave Lewis a really expensive lens and uh, we had to get a adapter for it to fit Lewis's camera body. He did send me a link to one uh, to buy online with Amazon. But I wanted to double check with uh, proper photography people, so I called in the wee store in Bull Street today. Um, I had a chat with them and they gave me the right... Uh, connection device so when I ordered it it'll be back at the home for Lewis by Thursday now guys on Thursday Lewis is doing his uh, first ever international game then I put a vlog up the other week um, about Lewis being announced as a photographer it's first official games this Thursday night at Harnham with Wilders Ground Blanc Flower Park in Belfast we're now on take on wheels and then on the 25th I mean we got my date right there 25th they're playing against England and Lewis will be the photographer for that game as well. So he's all excited about that. So he's trying to get that uh, connection sorted out for him for him to get to the game with his brand new lens for this Thursday. And obviously other games coming up because we have another game coming up on Friday night for the Welders, East Belfast Derby, which is another one. <laughs> so we have plenty of photographs to take over the next two days. Anyway, or over the next two, uh, um, two nights, sorry, should I say. Anyway, guys, I want to go here now. So if you enjoyed this video where I went to Birkenhead for the day, I'm way here to get ready now and get ready for the Liverpool match tonight, Redmond Football Ventures, guys. Check out the channel in the description. Please drop a like on that channel, or subscribe to that channel, drop a like on the videos uh, on the channel. It'd be really so kind. Um, I'm off to the Inter Milan game tonight, Liverpool versus Inter Milan, round a 16 second leg at Anfield. So Redmond Football Ventures uh, match day vlog tonight. Also, guys, you want to go and check out Redmen Football Ventures and also Moor Army Merchandise. 
Don't forget to go to lurearmy.co.uk where you can go and uh, purchase your merchandise. We've got a summer range coming up very, very soon. Um, also, you can check out all our social media posts uh, for the channel. And also, every video from this channel and also Redmen Football Ventures is posted on that website. So if you want to go back and check out any of the old videos, you can do it on YouTube as well, but obviously the main hub is moorarmy.co.uk and you can also contact us on there as well. There's a contact us page where you can send us questions and more, moorarmy.co.uk. Anyway, not me bothered on, I'm going to head off here and I get my dinner. I'm making myself some pasta here for dinner. So I am, and I want to chill out for an hour or two before I head up to the match tonight. It's going to be fun. Right guys, until the next one. Next vlog on this channel will be me traveling back home tomorrow. And then uh, that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed the vlog from Liverpool. Not very much in the vlogs, to be honest with you, but I try to do as much as I can. But I'm trying to spend this last two days have been sort of me away on my own, trying to sort of have a wee bit of me time. It's been a bit of a weird week, so it has. But anyway, guys, I'm babbling on here as usual. I'm way here to get right for football. <laughs> I can't wait tonight. Back to Anfield. Till the next one, guys. Hope you all have a good day. See you all soon. Thanks for watching.